All right, folks, you've tuned in to another episode of Build It With Smith, and this time we're playing Animal Crossing. This is episode two. Uh, Got to do a little briefing with you guys to catch you up on what I did off camera since the last episode, because I had done a couple of things. Let's see what Tom Nook has to say. It's just kind of his daily message, giving the time and the date, and he will say that there are no, there's no news for the day. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Okay, he says, as of this day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Crapola. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Crapola. I sincere hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Okay, so we've got a exciting gentleman named Blathers that seems to have joined us. And um, Blathers is going to... Um, he... So, okay. We whine. So, at the end of the last episode, remember I had this tent. Oh, and you see I have a new hat now. This is something that one of my friends, uh, one of the uh, folks on the island gave me. But if you remember the last time, uh, it was just the first night doing just your uh, basics to get you through the night. It was kind of a guided deal there within the game. And so then I went to sleep. Um, I played a little bit yesterday just so there wouldn't be so much um, mindless running around, you know. So I kind of did you guys a favor. But a uh, couple of things we did. Let me check my mail. Oh, that's not the mail. I'm still getting used to the buttons, to be honest with you. Okay, I've received a message card from a friend. You can create and send message cards at the airport. Once a message card is received, it is saved on Nintendo Switch system and cannot be received. Got it. All right. You can have up to 300, blah, 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 blah. Gotcha. Okay, here's something from one of my friends, Bell. Something for your house when you get one. <laughs> Guys, Belle is actually my mother-in-law, and she came to visit me yesterday, um, and it appears that she's left me something. Now, how do I... Okay, press A, place the present in my pocket, and my pockets are too full. Crap. All right, I guess I got to come back to that. Um, is this... Who is this here? Is that Tim or Tom? Let me see if he wants to talk. Tommy, oh, Smith, it's good to see you. How are you enjoying this island life? Have you spent much time exploring the beach, Smith? Actually, I did. Timmy and Resident Services will buy any of the shells that wash up there, so you should collect some. Oh, okay. There are also some clams that are buried in the sand. To find them, watch the beach very closely and dig them up with a shovel when you see the water spouting up. Do I have, can I? I'll have to see. I might have to go make a shovel or see if I've discovered it yet. Okay, yep, yeah, there's some good clamming to do to be done, Smith. All right. Thank you, Timmy. And uh, one thing I wish I would have done is uh, place my houses, the, my friends' houses, a little further apart. Oh, I think that's, did you guys see that? Uh... I just saw something. I think that was what Tommy was talking about. All right, let me talk to Canberra. Sup, sup, no, no, where you had it? What's the latest? Word is that, except for the plaza, we're allowed to plop furniture down wherever and whenever we like. Well, that's good to know. I kind of want to stick a bench and a vending machine somewhere to, like, make it a cool hangout spot for us folks. What about you? I say, if you've got an idea for the island, then go make it happen, uh-huh. All right, thanks, Canberra. That's Canberra's house right there. Like I said, I wish I would have kind of spread them out a little bit and gave them some more space, but that's kind of one of those things where I just got to live with or else I'll just be repeating day one over and over again on the game. You guys know how that goes uh, if you're like me. All right, let's come in here and visit Tom Nook. Um, or actually, no, I want to see what that present was. So let me see what I can sell here. Welcome, Smith. How can I help you today? I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Um, what should I sell? I've got some apples. I'll sell them 10 apples. It's 
Some apples? Sure, how about a thousand bells? Great, sold. So 10 apples equals a thousand bells, which if my math is right, one apple equals 100 bells. So that's good to know, note it. Okay, um, should I talk to this guy? I don't wanna get too caught up in doing a bunch of stuff. Ah, hello Smith, what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Um, my moving fees. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. So, um, five minutes, 45 seconds into the video, let me do what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. Just wanted to catch you guys up. So a couple of things happened yesterday, which was, uh, technically day two. All right. So, uh, well, first of all, I learned about this trusty ATM machine, which is, uh, where you can buy things kind of like a Amazon type kiosk. You can buy things online and you can also deposit money. And as you can see, if you were looking a second ago, I have about 13,000 bells that I have collected by selling things like fish and, um, uh, you know, rocks and, well, not rocks, but things at the beach and just other stuff that I guess apparently sells. Um, Tom Nook gave me a couple of... Um, couple of things to do. Well, first of all, he wanted to invite this cat Blathers, and he's not a cat. I'm just saying he's a dude. I, uh, he, he wanted to invite this guy named Blathers to our island to start a, like a museum. And so in order for that to happen, I had to, um, I had to go and find uh, like five fish or some, some uh, bugs, different things for matter of fact this guy oh man I don't have a net all right let me go back in here and craft some stuff um okay um what was I saying sorry guys I have uh ADHD ADDHD whatever one that is that's what I have hard to concentrate get through one thing or do multiple things at once one of those all right uh let me get back to my story here in a second but let me make sure that I just do all that. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Made a flimsy net, keep crafting, and we also want to make a fishing pole. Oh, my pockets are too full. All right, well, um, here's what we're gonna do. Let's go visit that guy Blathers, since it's kind of what I was talking about, because I believe he's gonna require some little specimens that I currently have collected, like some fish and things like that. I wanted to try to snag that butter butterfly, but that didn't didn't warrant that to happen. Now, where did I put where did I put where did I put the museum? Okay, uh, I actually got a phone call, which kind of messed up my recording here. Okay, um, I think I was headed to the museum, but then I just saw Mac here, and I figured I'd check in with him. Hey, uh, woo woof, you good? Let's chat, Mac. By the way, Timmy said, if you run out of something you need, swing by his place and he can sell you more. Say what you like, but this Island Life package deal stuff's really got some solid support. Well, woof. Still, I'm kind of broke right now, so I'll probably be selling more stuff to Timmy than I'll be buying. Me too, brother. It's hard out here. Uh, all right. Let me go in here and visit this guy, Blathers. Oh, I might not want to go in with an axe. That seems... Let me just go in with a fishing pole. Looking like a local. All right, here we go. No, it's an owl. All right, let me talk to him. He looks like he's dressed pretty dapper. What's up, buddy? Hoo hoo! What a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm excited. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Could it be that you are Smith, the personage, personage, personage? I don't know. Who chose the location for this tent? Yep, I am. Let's say that's right. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able, oh, thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with a nary ruffled feather. With, he talks kind of weird. All right. 
Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. Kind of gave him like a Morgan Freeman voice, folks. <sighs> I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as you, uh, as well as those you gave to Tom Nook. Yes, because like I said, guys, I did give Tom Nook some creatures, and I've been holding on to these for this auspicious occasion. Though I confess there is a smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of uh, exhibits needed to secure permission to open a proper a museum proper. Uh, whatever. This guy. Okay. We get it. That's it. That's all that matters. Get him. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Basically, guys, to sum it up, sounds like he needs insects, fossils, and fish um, in order to store for display at his museum. And he's still talking. I would bet my pen feathers this primitive plot is a flush with fossils I require. So he's referred me to the place over the river. But the river, you say, I can't just hop over it. Hoo hoo, silly you. I have a solution. As audacious as trying to populate an entire deserted island. Pardon me, Smith, while I transmit vital data to your nook phone. So apparently, he's probably going to send me a recipe. Here it comes. There, you see? With a wood gathered from crapola, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to, proper once, oh, to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I sent a DIY schematics for a shovel, oh thank you, to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Finally, five minutes into the conversation, we finally get into the point. It was a little exaggerated. It's not really five minutes, but this guy was talking my head off. All right. Please, Smith, cross the river to seek out ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on for far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit 15... 15 more to be precise. Well, you could have just said that as soon as I walked through the door and saved me a lot and my viewers, mind you, a lot of time. Okay, I fervently have... All right, enough of you, buddy. I mean, you're cool and everything, but... Okay, well, here's the deal. I actually have... I have some items to donate. I have some. Make a donation. That is why I came over here in the first place. I was ready to make a donation. So, uh, looks like... Oh, goodness. Looks like I got to donate these one by one. Uh, now, might I interest you in a few facts about your loach? You guys want to see this? Okay, we'll, we'll look at the first one. We're not going to go through all of this. All right, loaches are a large group of bottom-feeding freshwater fish. You know, when I pulled it out, it kind of looked like a um, crawfish. Because there are so many feces, it is difficult to generalize about them all. One thing that they all have in common is perhaps their most uh, uh, is, is perhaps their most appealing trait, the name loach. Kind of like roach. Repellent, isn't it? They should have just called it a cockloach and been done with it. Yeah, I think so. I agree with you there, Blathers. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. All right. I'm just going to speed past it because I actually have things I want to do in this episode here guys all right um I do have something else yes okay but we're not going to allow you to tell us about it this time just get your yellow perch and let's go woohoo why this is a yellow perch I'm now might I interest you in some facts I'm a bit busy yes you see another time perhaps maybe all right, all right. I got one more thing. By the way, blah 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 blah. blah. Got gotcha, you, buddy. All right. Um, I've got something else. Okay. Um, marvelous. What would you like to donate? I have one more fish. It is a sea bass. Oh, and a pretty big sea bass, actually. It was. Um, hooty hoo. This must be. You know what it is. It's a sea bass. Now. Might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea bass? I am a bit busy, buddy. 
All right, so I'll go sell everything else um, to, to Tommy, Timmy, whichever one. Okay, we need 12 more donations, eager to accept, blah, blah, blah. All right, thank you. Let's get out of here. You know what? This is like me at work, right? Let me tell you guys a story. There's this one guy at work, and I know he's never going to watch my video, but I'm, I'm not going to name his name, right? There's this one guy uh, that I work with, and um, he is what... We used to refer to, and by we, I mean me and my buddies back in college, used to refer to this kind of guy as a mouth man. A mouth man. Because this guy could talk and talk and talk, and when you thought the conversation was done, there was more conversation, and he would just reel you back in. And so I found myself yesterday encountering this guy on two different occasions. And getting into 30-minute conversations, I mean, we were talking about the quarantine. I found out he's got an 8-year-old. I got an 8-year-old. He's got a 16-year-old. I don't have a 16-year-old. Uh, talking about the whole homeschooling new thing that has happened since the kids are out of school. And just going on and on and on and on. And I just came to ask this. Really, I didn't. I tried to avoid him. And then he kind of saw me and reeled me in. And we started talking about the, the business of the day. Um, and so, I, I'm literally, guys, because I looked at my clock. It was like 1030. And I'm like, okay, let me just go check on this one area and um, see, you know, if they finished the work that they, spoke, they, they said they were going to do. I'm in a contracting business, so as a general contractor. So I'm checking up on the subs, and, you know, here this guy is. And so he starts just talking my head off, and I'm watching the clock go by and boom now it's lunchtime and so not only did this happen once but it happened twice guys and i ran into this guy and he was just going on and on now i like to talk to people you know because especially now you know people are lonely and i guess they're lonely i don't know but uh but it's just one of those situations you you guys know what i mean right all right okay i would like to sell you some stuff Okay, um, let's see, so I guess I can sell him, I can sell these, um, I can sell the apples, I can sell the sand dollar, and these are all things we're going to keep, the coral, I can sell that, I can sell the squid, and there we go. I want to go ahead and plant those oranges. I got a bunch of clumps of weed, uh, weeds, which, um, I was I was gonna save just in case I need uh, there's a recipe that requires weeds and it's uh, it makes medicine and so just in case you get stung by a bee on the island or in case you get bitten well I think it's just if you get stung by a bee uh, when you're shaking the trees um, sometimes if you're not careful a hornet's nest will fall out of the tree and out come the hornets and you run and you run and you get a head start as quick as you can but to no avail you end up looking bumpy face and so um that happened to me a couple of times and my phone is is uh telling me to check it but let me do this crafting before i forget if you guys didn't pick this up already oh no actually i need to learn the recipe do i have to learn it um let me see, is there any, there might be leaf umbrella, what's that, okay, I gotta learn the leaf umbrella, so now I have a leaf umbrella recipe, I guess for if it rains, although I have this trusty hat here, so, um, cutting board, I need to learn the cutting board, okay, and just a couple of things I picked up yesterday, if you guys are wondering, that's how I got those, um, so let's see, I got 16 branches, which is good. Let's go ahead and do some crafting now. All right, so we want to make a shovel. Need materials. Oh, hardwood. And I guess I need some softwood, too, for that. So I got my flimsy axe. I guess then I'm going out and to do that. Okay, um, so let me get my axe out, there it is, 
Now, what I realized is, you know, we were talking about being stunned by bees and whatnot. What I realized is that um, the, I call them bees. I think they're hornets. Who knows? Uh, they're probably hornets, but um, yellow jackets or something. But they, uh, they never fall out. And, say, and so if, you, if I were to shake this tree now, I get my hands a rest. And, uh, if I were to shake this tree now, it's possible, um, or not this tree, but if I were to tr shake any other tree that didn't already have fruit growing on it, it's possible that a hornet's nest could fall out of it. You know, a lot of times branches fall out, and uh, sometimes I even got some furniture out of it already, guys. Uh, but different things will fall out, and um, so in order to avoid that from happening, I did notice or read or heard or something that um, you, they don't fall out of these kind of trees. So um, I think only three of these come out at a time, and this is the hardwood that I'm looking for. That's the dark wood. This is just regular wood, and let me just collect apples and stuff too. And um, I don't actually know what the schedule is with the apples. Now, the reason that I'm picking up these weeds around here is because uh, things won't fall out of the tree if there's weeds around. Okay, that's softwood, that's hardwood, and regular wood. So here we go, all three of them. So you got your hardwood here, you got your, s if I can pick it up, softwood there, and then regular wood. And we'll keep on adding to our branches wherever we see these. I kind of got a feeling you guys are about to get a um, on-screen demonstration of how the whole um, hornet's nest thing goes by surprise. Let me see if I can catch this. Come on, buddy. Wait a minute. No! Arr, he left. All right, I'll go get you as soon as I get my pole vault. Oh, is he coming back? I hate it when that happens. All right, here we go. Hardwood, regular wood, softwood. There we go. Okay, so I think what I'm trying to collect is five hardwood and five softwood. So we'll see how we're going. I think my luck, I just kind of feel like my luck is about to run out with hitting these trees and nothing happening. There's another butterfly. I'm going to try to catch it because uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, wait a minute, guy. And I think those are things. Okay, apparently I suck at catching butterflies. There you go. Okay, this is a yellow butterfly. So there you go. And there's another one right here. Where are you? You're on the other side, huh? Okay. Back to what I was doing then. Oh, there it is. Run, 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 run. Oh, they're still coming. They're still coming. No! 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 Oh, man, I got stung by wasps. I told you guys it was going to happen. I don't really think it's avoidable. All right, so um, I can fix this, and that's where the whole, how much, am I collecting the weeds again? All right, I got eight weeds. So I got to go talk to Tom or Tim, Timmy, one of those guys, and um, and if I if I bring them the hornet's nest and 30 weeds then they'll mix up a medicine for me so let me grab this wasp it's a wasp nest guys i don't know if there's a difference between hornets and wasps to be honest with you but all right so there's that let's see how we're coming on our inventory so we've got six hardwood and we've got, okay, so we've got just enough. I just need to go ahead and get some more weeds here. And we will be okay. Oh, here's another butterfly. There we go. What is this? Yes, that's a nice one. A paper kite butterfly. Huh. All right, well, you learn something every day. I didn't know 
that was even a name of a butterfly paper paper kite all right and here's some more coming across uh, maybe we'll Ooh. got him I think it's another yellow one yellow butterfly and there's this one here looks like he's over the river he's over the river so he's gone while I'm here let me see do I have some room in my inventory let's do some fishing kill two birds with one stone I guess I didn't drop it in front of him like I was supposed to. Here he comes. I can't see. There it is. Oh, pull, 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 pull. Ooh, that looks pretty big. Is that a sea bass? Oh, it's a black bass. All right. And uh, my phone keeps going off. That's because I keep achieving things, guys. And um, we'll get to that here in a second. I don't want to get to, as you can see, it's not very hard to throw me off of my task. Uh, here's another fish. See, prime example. I'm supposed to be going over there. I got a bumped up face, and it doesn't seem to matter because I just saw a fish. I thought I saw a fish. There it is right there. Well, we'll let him. We'll just. Okay, I think I got enough things that I need. Let's go in here now and handle some business. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and pause this episode here to break it up. And we will see more on episode three coming very soon. Make sure you subscribe to that channel and hit that notification button. And we'll be back with more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Peace out.